Commuters could save millions of pounds in train fares by splitting up their journeys, say rail industry insiders. There are a lot of journeys where this will save money, tens of millions could be saved, transport expert Christian Wilmer told the Sunday Times. The train companies are relying on ignorance, that people do not have an expert's knowledge of the system. Ticket splitting is on the rise, but train companies are reportedly fighting back. So how does it work? Companies such as Train Split have access to extensive databases that contain timetables, fares and reservation information for the whole of Britain's rail network. Using an algorithm, it is able to calculate the split tickets for any journey and save customers an average of 22%. For example, an off-peak return ticket from Birmingham to Leeds costs £58.10. But if the ticket is split from Birmingham to Derby, from Derby to Sheffield and again from Sheffield from Leeds, passengers would save £20.20. .20. Customers won't need to get off the train at each stop, but they must make sure the train stops at each specified station for their ticket to be valid. Ticket splitting could also provide season ticket holders with big savings. I save £242 on a monthly season ticket from Reading to Westbury, reported one blogger. The usual price is £577. But by buying two season tickets, one from Reading to Pusey, £112, and another from Pusey to Westbury, £223, I can travel on the same journey for just £335 a month. Why is it cheaper to split a journey? For really huge savings remember train fares and logic go together like pop darts and ketchup, so lob the rule book out the window, Jenny Keefe from MoneySavingExpert.com told the BBC. Ticket pricing in Britain is based on passenger demand, instead of a mileage tariff, according to the Association of Train Operating Companies. It's also down to a patchwork of rail companies. Bits of the railway were priced by different sections of British Rail but since privatisation some operators have put up fares at different rates than others, said travel consultant Barry Doe. Is it legitimate? The practice is permissible under the rail network's condition of carriage, so customers cannot be penalised for splitting their tickets. The train guard will understand what you're doing, and will often compliment you on finding a cheap combination of train tickets says train split. However, train companies have reportedly lobbied the government to ban split ticketing. Campaign groups are calling on rail companies to make customers more aware of cheaper ways to travel and to provide ticket splitting options at stations. But Atos argues that doing so would be not be practical. To provide someone at a ticket office with every single permutation to get from A to B is simply impractical and would lead to unmanageable queues at stations, it said.